This is always an interesting scene. In some European countries, it's actually tradition once you graduate college that you throw your bicycle or your scooter that you used as you were going through school into the canal, which leads to cleanups like this. Kind of a wild story, just like some of the wild stories we'll see on this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Oregon and is actually a call to action story, as federal authorities are offering up to a $20,000 reward for anybody giving information leading to the conviction of this person. These images came out just a little over a month ago, showing this vessel intentionally steering into groups of California sea lions on the Columbia River near Hayden Island. California sea lions are actually a protected animal. They are protected by the Marine Mammal Protection Act, which actually prohibits the harassment of the animal. But even if they were not a protected animal, this is just completely inappropriate behavior for any boater to try and do. Authorities are describing the vessel as an approximately 19 to 20 foot Hughescraft Pro-V Sea Runner with a dark blue stripe and it has a soft top with an aluminum Bear West fish and wake tower and of course a Yamaha outboard. Authorities are asking anybody with any information about the boater's identity or anybody who recognizes the boat to please contact agents at the 24-7 hotline which is 1-800-853-1964. These really are wild images. I can't imagine what would motivate somebody to want to do this but some of the stuff I've read claims that there has been animosity between local fishermen and the sea lion since they're a protected animal when these guys are out fishing apparently the sea lions will come into the groups of fish, preventing the boater from being able to fish in that area, obviously causing some anger issues with some boaters on the water. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the coast of Texas, where this was the scene this past week when the Coast Guard cutter Harold Miller was out on patrol during one of the heavy storms that rolled through the Texas coastline over the last week. During this particular storm, winds were in excess of 40 miles an hour, creating a sea state of 6 to 8 foot. While on this patrol, the cutter Harold Miller received a distress call from a 36-foot sailing vessel approximately 60 miles off the coast of Galveston. The couple on board the vessel claimed that their sailboat had ran out of fuel and of course were struggling to battle the rough weather conditions. The cutter launched its 26-foot over-the-horizon boat crew and sent them to the disabled yacht to try and get the two sailors off the vessel. Here the images released by the Coast Guard show the struggle of the crew to try and get alongside the boat. They're battling massive seas and winds, and of course the vessel's disabled so it has no propulsion of its own, which is making it difficult for the sailboat to steer. Typically, if they could keep the boat moving, it would be a whole lot easier, but you can tell the Coast Guard struggles and winds up getting smacked around several times as the yacht is completely knocked back into the Coast Guard vessel as they're trying to get the two crew members off. Here we can see they've successfully got the first person off the boat and still are attempting to try and pull the captain back off the vessel. The Coast Guard of course does wind up successfully getting the two sailors off the vessel and bringing them back to the cutter. This crew was pretty lucky that the Coast Guard was already out on patrol in the area and they were able to get a quick response. I have to imagine being stuck out there in these weather conditions with no power, no real way to steer would have definitely been an uncomfortable situation for any kind of extended period of time. Fortunately for this crew, the Coast Guard was there. They were able to successfully get both pulled off without injury. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Germany, where this was the scene this past week when the cargo vessel Petra L pulled into a German port with a massive hole in the starboard side of its hull. German authorities began an investigation to try and determine what the vessel hit as the captain was claiming they were not sure as the vessel was on autopilot at the time of the incident. But after doing a little further investigation, authorities believe this statement not to be entirely true. After looking at the AIS data, it shows that the Petra L actually drifted into a working wind farm. The vessel was on autopilot, but obviously if they hit the wind farm, this captain's going to know what happened. German authorities made inquiries with the wind farm operators who claimed that everything appeared to be working as normal and showed no issues, but upon a visual inspection through a helicopter, they did find damage to one of the turbines out in the North Sea wind farm. Currently, the captain has chosen not to answer any further questions on the incident until speaking with a lawyer, indicating there's probably a little more to the story. Fortunately, in this situation, no injuries were reported, and due to the calm sea conditions, somehow they were able to successfully get this damaged vessel back into port. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here, just like Tommy Young, Mark DeMeo, and Andre Widener did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.